Mr. Chairman, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen. My name is Cynthia Bassanet, and I visited the Sahawi refugee camps situated in the most inhospitable location of the Western Sahara in 2001. A month later, my partner Jack Nicholson, along with Sean Penn, met with Putin. While in inverted on their part, empowering Putin as he played the long game, and with him later, China. Unleashing a cyber warfare on women's rights, abetted and profited by big tech. Flooding the internet with facial recognition, fake algorithms, while more social platforms are created to profit from this ever-growing demand to distract, divert, and program. At the cost of early 9-11 warnings, culminating in a fake president propped up by fake media as his women are sliced and diced, literally, posted to social media to resemble myself, with Russian wording, and of course, hashtag Trump train. It was I who discovered the irregularities of fake bots aimed at the undermining that very presidential campaign, which I brought to the attention of his honor, Adam Schiff. I watched as photo ops after photo ops were just reenactments of my real life. Published or private, this slow encroachment ever and ever growing thirst for more content continues to threaten women's rights to sell sliced and diced versions of myself. The world has been subjected to this charade constantly staged and reenacted. Imagine a non-authentic, non-original world in our lifetime. Women being subjected to the pain and cost to look like another woman. The Sahawi refugees continue to sit in a stalemate of displacement for over 40 years and more join that same reality, that same fate. Now more recently, Ukraine. According to the UNHRC, 89.3 people worldwide were forcibly displaced. While we are distracted by big media and big tech selling you imposter syndrome on social influencers and royals, celebrities and red carpets, at the cost of women's rights, at the cost of displaced persons, at the cost of the 99.99%. Sure, they have a non-profit. Sure, they throw a concert. Ensuring the rich and famous remain rich and famous. The cost, too deep. We have never experienced this international and national unrest thanks to this onslaught, this underlying lack of civility, all to sell. Understand this, 99.99% of the rich and famous are rich and famous due to the overreaches of electronic surveillance 24-7 for decades. Tactics that harken back to the Cold War era. Again, keeping big media, the rich and famous, relative and relatable, whilst erasing my history, causes, including that of the Sahawian, and beliefs, diverting to fake versions in publications, ads, programming, and products off this peacemaker, a Nobel-nominated peace woman representative of thousands of female peace workers. So yes, the likes of Putin and others saw this new frontier to undermine as it profits this trifecta of power. This collateral damage, our young girls and women worldwide. Systemic racism, disempowerment, and self-esteem on and on and on are what we have paid. This is an international crisis at the cost of our security, sanity, diversity, creativity, originality, and unity, or continue to face the violence and aftermath that befalls this inequality. Thank you again for your attention and awareness.